Okay, so this is um, an interesting one, to say the least. I'm not sure how many people asked for this, but nonetheless, we are getting a summonable LR Universe 2 girls. We're talking about Rebrian, Kakunsa, and Rosie. Um, it's good to know that some of these less popular characters are getting more love. That's always a great thing. That's always amazing. And it's also good to know that these ladies are getting a summonable LR before Kid Buu. Love that. Anyways, uh, with all that said, in this video we are going to be breaking down uh, the full details for this LR Universe 2 squad and also taking a look at their animations. Speaking of which, let's start with the animations first. And uh, before we start the video, let me just pause my music. There we go. I'm going to uh, throw in some headphones or earbuds as well so I can hear this new OST. And here we go. Enjoy. <laughs> Wow, um, yo, is it just me or is the OST for the transformation, the giant form, like, really good? <laughs> you know, like, at first, you know, the, the initial, um, you know, couple of animations and, like, the OST, I was like, oh, you know, it kind of seems like a, I mean, honestly, it kind of felt like a free-to-play LR or, like, a... Yeah, just like not quite summonable quality in my opinion, but that's also probably the fact that like I'm not that excited for Rebrihan, Rosie, and Kakunsa. Um, so yeah, I wasn't that into it. Like I thought it was kind of funny, <laughs> so I laughed a bit in the beginning, but it wasn't like anything serious. But then we got the transformation and the shift in the OST. And uh, it got it got kind of fire. I gotta be honest. It got it got kind of fire. And yo, um, I mean, this has probably been mentioned a lot, but like that giant form Rebrian is just it's it's kind of ridiculous, man. It, it's kind of ridiculous. I'm I'm not gonna say too much. I'm gonna keep it. Uh, I'm gonna keep it PG on the channel. But like that's that's crazy. Okay, so with all that said, uh, those are the animations. Um, not bad, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, nothing to write home about in my opinion, but I don't think they look bad by any means. And uh, I think they did a really good job with the giant form. So from there, we're gonna pop over to the translations provided by the Tokan Wiki Twitter page, or X page, I guess. I don't know what people call it anymore. But uh, yeah, this was posted on 
their Twitter account, not the actual website. But uh, shout out to the Dokkan Wiki, nonetheless. And let's start from the top here. Leader skill is Special Pose or Power of Wishes, Category Key Plus 4. Uh, is the music back on? Did I turn it back? I did, okay. Uh, Power of Wishes, Category Key Plus 4, HP Attack and Defense, plus 150%. Let's actually zoom in a bit more so you guys can see better. Um, so yeah, Special Pose or Power of Wishes, uh, 12 key Super Attack. Apparently this is not Greatly Raises, it's actually just raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage and then the 18 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage passive activates the entrance animation once only and this is kind of interesting it changes str agl and fizz key spheres to tech key spheres within the same turn and then key plus three for three turns from start of turn so this is a triple orb changer they're changing STR, AGL, and Fizz Key Spheres into Tech Key Spheres, but I believe that's only for the first turn. And then you get the uh, Key Boost for three turns. And then from there, we get Key Plus 3, Attack and Defense, plus 122%. Changes STR Key Spheres to Tech Key Spheres. And then a medium chance of changing AGL Key Spheres to Tech Key Spheres. And a medium chance of changing Fizz Key Spheres to Tech Key Spheres. So essentially, you only get the triple orb change for the first turn, and then after that, the STR key spheres always become tech, but then AGL and Fizz have a medium chance to change into tech key spheres. Launch is an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack when HP is 66% or more. Launch is an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack when there is another universe survival saga category ally attacking in the same turn. or enemy so it's either having an ally that's universe survival saga or an enemy that's universe survival saga so in theory you can launch up to uh four supers in a turn you get the first super and then you got the two additional supers for being over 66 percent hp or having universe survival saga enemy or ally and then of course the additional from your hidden potential right so up to four supers and then key plus two attack and defense plus 122 percent when attacking and reduces damage received by 22 percent with two or more type key spheres obtained which obviously is super easy to easy to get because they're changing so many key spheres so you should always have this 22 percent damage reduction and then chance of performing a critical hit plus 22 percent up to 66 percent every time the character obtains two key spheres within the same turn so I guess if you get six key spheres, then that's gonna be a 66% chance to crit, which essentially is uh, a great chance, right? I mean, great chance is 70, so it's not quite there, but very close. So obviously, when you're building this unit, uh, hidden potential-wise, you want to give them, you want to give them additionals because they're getting such a high crit chance already on their passive. And then uh, the active skill is the giant form transformation, turns into giant form for two turns, can be activated when there's another power of wishes, category ally, attacking on the same turn when HP is 66% or less, or uh, can be activated starting from the sixth turn from start of battle once only. Uh, links are more than meets the eye, metamorphosis, battlefield diva, signature pose, tournament of power, fierce battle, and legendary power, and categories are Peppy Gals, Universe Survival Saga, Giant Form, Transformation Boost, Joint Forces, Special Pose, Space Traveling Warriors, Power of Wishes, and Tournament Participants. And let's take a look at the Giant Form, uh, 12 key, Sturdy Love, causes destructive damage, 18 key, greatly raises attack temporarily, causes destructive damage, and passive is key plus 2 per key sphere obtained, changes STR key spheres to tech key spheres, and randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, STR and tech excluded, to rainbow key spheres. High chance of performing a critical hit. So that is the LR Rebrian, Rosie, and Kakunsa slash giant, uh, giant form Rebrian. And uh, overall, I think it's um, it's good. It's it's good. I think this is gonna be a very very solid unit. Um, obviously I haven't had a chance to test them myself, so I can't say for sure how good they're going to perform, but just on paper, um, they look like they're going to be very solid, very solid. Um, nothing to like freak out over, nothing to, um, 
like they're not gonna be making top five lists i think or anything like that but they're gonna be really good i think they're gonna be really good so nothing really to like negatively say about it nothing to like hype up too much it's Ruby, Brienne, Rosie, and Kakunsa once again, as far as characters go. Not the most exciting for me personally. If you guys are into it, then uh, by all means, go go all out. But um, this is definitely an LR where I feel like you should not be splurging too much on if we're going to do like a quick pass or pull video kind of kind of deal. Um, you know, you, you, can, you can summon, you can pull, but don't don't spend too many stones on, on this unit, on this banner, because banner is probably not going to be very good either. Um, so that's, that's that guys, that is the Ruby, Brienne, Rosie, and Kakunsa as a whole, like I said, solid, very solid, um, but like not, not crazy by any means. So, uh, there you go, that is the LR, that is the unit, let me know in the comments guys what you guys think about Giant Ruby, Brienne, and, uh, the unit as a whole, the animations, everything you've seen so far, give me a rating, maybe add a 10 in the comments. I give them like a solid 7.5 out of 10, which is, you know, average to above average. It's not a bad score. Um, I mean, if I got that in school, my parents would kill me, but uh, that's besides the point. <laughs> that's besides the point. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows that you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.